name, Megan. I think in today's game, you might be in a better position on corner kicks if you play slightly outside the box. Uh-huh. Could you put the magazine down, sweetheart? That's my girl. Now, let's say uh, the goalie is the salt shaker, you are the pepper shaker, and the kicker is the Tabasco sauce. I want to be the Tabasco sauce. Why? Because it's hot and spicy. <laughs> Could you please be serious? You are playing for the league championship in two hours. This is what we've been working for all year. Don't you want to be like Mia Hamm? Yeah, she's totally pretty. <gasps> oh, I think so, too. I saw her in a magazine. The one with the pink dress, right? Yes, oh. with the spaghetti straps. Oh. She's married to that baseball player, Norman somebody. No more. No more Garcia Parra. <laughs> Well, no more's got a really nice kitchen. Well, that's what's important. All right, now, sweetheart. I'll get it. No, don't get it. Don't get it. Let Mickey get it. No, don't go. Don't. All right, you can be the Tabasco. <laughs> All right, you see? You see? This is the biggest day in her soccer life she could care less. This is why she's a mediocre player. Now, Mickey, he throws up before every golf match. Sometimes twice. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> and when I'm hurling, I'm visualizing the shots I'm going to need to make. You see? That ability can't be taught. Can it be untaught? <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys have to see this. What? What? What is the problem? What? Dad, you are so not going to believe what Grandpa sent you. It's like a box of your clothes from when you were a teenager. She opens my mail? Uh, mine, too. I'm thinking about getting the P.O. box. <laughs> Yeah, my dad was holding on to these for so long because he thought they belonged to my mother. No. Oh. Poor thing, his eyesight must be going. Or not. Dad, this stuff is fantastic. It is? Yeah, ugly clothes are totally in right now. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Compliment accepted. That was a compliment? It is from her. Uh. Check this out. Can I have this? Oh, yeah. If I tried that on now, there'd be buttons flying around like bullets. Such a good thing you were tiny before you got fat. Now, is that one a compliment? That one's a stretch. Oh, gosh. Gotta get to the field. Come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get the video camera. Oh, oh. oh man. No wonder people used to streak. And they got writing on them. Huh? Everything is something? That's weird. It looks like Dad's handwriting. I wonder what it means. score already? Why do they even have a scoreboard at a soccer game? They think if somebody made a goal, we'd forget it. It'd be like seeing Sasquatch. Oh, it was just a game. What? Oh, nothing. I forgot who I was talking to. That's the end of regulation play. The score is tied at 0-0. Zero, zero. In one minute, we will begin sudden death overtime. Sudden death is right. I'm about to have a heart attack. But Dad, I only got a second. Can I ask you something? Yeah, yeah. What do you need? Can we get high def TV? What? Yeah, some of the girls were talking about it before the game, and it sounds totally cool. This is what's occupying your mind during a championship game? How many times can you think, hey, it's a ball, let's kick it? Great focus. Laser-like. I can't believe it! 
championship. My daughter won the cha championship. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Oh, Megan! Bernie, was that or was that not the most outstanding athletic accomplishment of our lifetime? Very impressive. You ran 40 yards and only had to rest once. Very good. Good zinger. I'm talking, of course, about my daughter Megan's heroic championship-winning header, also known as the goal heard round the world. If by the world you mean a park in suburban Philadelphia. I absolutely do. And I feel safe in deeming this the sports moment of the century. The century is young, Tony. I don't see this one being top, Bernie. <laughs> Look, I'm really happy for you, Tony, but do you think we could take a couple of seconds and talk about the World Series? I'm sorry, Bernie. On this most glorious of days, fringe sports like baseball will just have to wait. <laughs> it's time to visit the Temple of Sport. America, I apologize. <laughs> Magnificent, isn't it? Housed within these stately marble columns, some of our greatest athletic heroes are immortalized. Bobby Orr, Babe Ruth, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Gail Sayers. And now, a new member joins their ranks, Megan Elizabeth Kleinman. Ah, uh, thank you, winged messenger. So, where do we put this? Well, first, we must remove someone who is patently unworthy. Much better. We're done, folks. But tomorrow, we will talk about the World Series. Unless, of course, one of Tony's kids wins a sack race or something.